as far as let's finish up with news. We'll go to yeah. break and we'll actually come back and talk about this. Okay. What do you got, Ryan? Uh, Big Bang Theory is going to end next season. Uh, this is a, this story too. Yeah, is this crazy. is crazy. Uh, Talk about the, a million people watching a boxing match. Yeah. Listen, a lot do you of know this? Do you know this, this story? No idea. What Listen to this. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> with respect to the the salaries, everybody was going to make near a million dollars per episode, mm-hmm. but Jim Parsons decided no, he's out. He wants to leave the show, which then left the the fan uh, the other people on the show going like. Oh, okay. No more show, so they're ending it next year. And it would have. And he walked away from fifty million dollars over, over fifty million dollars over two years, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I talked to our friend Janina Gamakar, who was supposed to be on the show. And she had a very good point. It's like kind of one of the reasons I really wanted her on this show today because she said, "Really, that's not much more than he was already making." I mean, you look; it's a million dollars an episode for what twenty some odd episodes. It rounds out to about fifty million. And I'm thinking. Put that you're still a young cat, man. Put that fifty million in the bank. Go make whatever the hell you want to make. It's only two more years. You're not seventy years old. You're like not even forty, I don't think, or maybe forty. But like, do it. Take the fifty mil if you can. If you can do it with with the show. If you can still do it. Maybe he's just not passionate about it at all. Maybe that's the case. But I don't know, man. If you can open fifty million, can do you a, a lot with production and other stuff. Now I'm just talking about just be, like living lavishly. I'm talking about like. Spending it to open a production company, do some new things with it. That's fifty million dollars. It's it is a tough job. I'm not saying that, that you're not you're not rewarded beyond your wildest dreams for doing it. Yeah. But working on a sitcom is, I mean, it's it's sixteen to twenty hour days where you're there, you're, you're rehearsing constantly. It's your life. You're doing That's it. lines. It's your life. Yeah. And Jim Parsons is a guy who wants to break in and do other roles, do other things with his life. And the other thing is that, yeah, it looks bad on paper that you're walking away from $50 million or whatever you're doing, but you're going to make so much money off that show in syndication for eternity that making new episodes of Big Bang Theory may not even be at the most fruitful. Um, that You might make more just on the fact that this show is in constant syndication right. for the end of time. Right. So as long as like everybody has contracts with that in place, I mean, I... I do feel bad for all the people that are that are production Losing their jobs. Yeah. yeah, because but but again, it's like come on, man. The yeah. show's been on for it's what been, ten years. It was one of our first pilots we reviewed for yeah. Current TV it's, before we even started Schmoes. Yeah, I don't think that you can blame the guy for making his own choice based on no. his own life for whatever he wants to do. But at the same time, I have a very hard time picturing Jim Parsons' career after Big Bang. I don't know what he does or yeah. where he goes. I'm sure he'll figure something out. That's but my point. Take that 15, open your own production right, company. Right, because he's he is castable in some ways, but he's not the most castable person. Yeah. Well, uh, when little Sheldon gets too old, he can play adult Sheldon on that one. <laughs> Which one's that? Well, he, oh, right. Yeah, young does, young Sheldon. Does the show. And Jim Parsons is showing up in the Ted Bundy biopic. Right. With, yeah. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll work. He's I mean, work. he'll work. He's been yeah. around it's for... It's not that he won't work. Right. It's that this is the... I think this is as big as it gets for him. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, too, what he's got inside of that, I mean, like Mark's talking about with syndication, he'll be, he he's really never has to work I'm for the rest of his life. I'm not talking monetarily. I'm talking about Fandom. I I know, and I think, but maybe, but maybe he—that's not what he's in it for. You know, maybe he's not in it for fandom. Maybe he's in it. Maybe he wants to start to be like a series. Maybe he is. Maybe that's yeah. what he wants to do. I think so, that must be the reason. And you know, if you can walk away from, I don't think it's fair to say, well, you just cost all these people their jobs, right? I mean, I know that's not what you're saying, but I'm just saying that's not that's not fair for someone to direct it towards him because it's his right. If the contract's over, for him to say, I don't want to do this anymore, that, that's fair. It's also fair for like when Kim Cattrall didn't want to do Sex, Sex and the City, City 3. It's a very, you know? uh, it, it's, it's a very scary thing that people have. People don't realize that they're doing it when you hitch your wagon to yeah. somebody else's success. Like you look at everybody who was working on Roseanne. That's right. And she uh, enjoys her Ambien mm-hmm. and goes on Twitter, and all of a sudden there's no more show. Right. And so, and well, then they, they try to course correct and they want to do a show with the cast of Roseanne, just not featuring Roseanne. So they want to have Laura. Metcalf and they want to have John Goodman on, on this show. But they are doing that, right? They are. Yeah. But it's like that if, if I don't know if that's going to be successful or not. Right. But you have all these people that are like, we're all relying. You have to sometimes in life you just have to look at who you're really relying on right. for work. And if it all hinges upon this 65-year-old comedian who has said a lot of stupid shit in her past and right. may do it again, that's a risky maneuver. Totally. But and, and not the case for Parsons, obviously. It was it was a matter of like, hey, we want to do this again. What do you say? And he's like, no, thank you. You know, I'm good. I would just say, like, is he is he married? Is he ever, he's, I know I he's gay, but is he a ha- husband? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All I know is that he's really good when he calls in on yeah. Dan Patrick in the morning. Yeah, Big Houston I was just going to say, because if I'm his, his husband, I'm going, uh, let's put a little bit more money in the bank. 
You know what I mean? It's Arla? like, yeah. Uh, he's 45 years old, so he's two, two more huh? years, he'll be 47. It's still, but I mean, still, that's, he's still a young man, you know? I, I would like Don't to act ask... like that's old. The, uh, yeah, it's a Beardo, that's ancient. Beardo, was he born in the 30s? Uh, might be, 40s, 50s. Yeah, there you his, go. Um, so his husband is he named was. Todd Spiewak? So I think Todd is saying, what you, uh, maybe Todd said, you know, do your thing. Maybe that's Todd fine. says, I miss you. Because yeah. I haven't seen you in ten years. Great point. But I, I would. I, I wonder if he talked with anybody like your the, the Matthew Perry's of the world, right. the uh, the Jason Alexander's yeah. of the world, or yes. even like, like like Seinfeld, where yeah. it's like, hey, you walked away from this, and now that you have some the benefit of hindsight, and you can Monday morning quarterback your own career. Do you wish that you had renewed for one more season? Right. Do you think anybody would say that out loud though? Because I feel like if you walked away from something you wish you didn't, you feel like it's the worst mistake of your life, right. and you're not going to tell somebody who calls you. Well, on but the phone. Seinfeld Seinfeld's different though too, because everyone always brings up Seinfeld with this scenario so far every time I brought this up well Seinfeld did the same thing Seinfeld owned that show yeah. Se- that was Seinfeld's yeah. show so Seinfeld could retire whenever he want and he's still going to get a lot more money than Jim Parsons is going to be from Big Bang because he didn't create Big Bang uh, that was the, you know so it's very different that's why I think that you know look good on him but I would just say to if it, I would suggest hey man stick it out if it was you I'd say think about Sticking it out for two more years. I know you don't like working, but stick nope. around for two more years and put that money in the bank. That's fifty more million dollars that you're gonna have, and then you do whatever you want. But, but see, you know, that doesn't sound. See, that's the thing. These you get so much money, and it doesn't. That sounds like insanity to us. But that's not to them. I to, know. To but them, it's, still, it's not. It's still fifty it's lot, million dollars. It's a lot dude. of money. But when you, if it's you a lot of cabanas million, in Vegas. Yeah, but if yeah. you have millions. Uh. You know, I you know he probably doesn't have a blinking light on his car that he can't fix. You know, right. so I mean, fifty million you know, to a schlub, you know, right. is a lot. I get of it. Goddamn- what do you guys uh, think out there? Hey, hashtag Collider Live, and let us know what you think. Is it good? T- should he stuck around? Should he good for him to leave?